the next homologous series that we will study are called uh, esters. Uh, this is a family of organic compounds that has the following functional group. Uh, there's always a C double bond O, uh, a double bond between carbon and oxygen atoms present, which is uh, the carbon is then attached to a single bond and it's attached to oxygen. And there would be uh, there would be a carbon chain uh, which I'll represent by an R on the right side and there would be a carbon chain on the left side. So R basically stands for a carbon chain. Over here it means uh, a carbon chain. Uh, remember one thing. Uh, that one thing is that you would uh, this R could also be it could also be hydrogen but this R needs to be a carbon chain it needs to be a carbon and uh, and the rest of the molecule will be drawn on the right hand side but over here there can be a carbon or they can be a hydrogen atom so I'll make uh, we'll do a few examples of what esters are so let's draw a few examples uh, example molecules of esters for example I have uh, a C double bond O and there's an oxygen and there are let's say two carbons on the right hand side and the two carb there's one carbon on the left hand side let me draw all the hydrogens this would have it's making one bond now it's supposed to make four bonds so these are the four these are the remaining three hydrogens this carbon is already making two bonds there needs to be one more bond on both sides this needs three more hydrogen atoms so this is one example of an ester uh, because it has this particular functional group this group of atoms and there's a carbon chain on the right side so there's a there's a carbon chain on the right side and there's a carbon chain on the left side so this is an example of an ester uh, let's do another one. Uh, we can have a C double bond O and another oxygen on uh, the right hand side and uh, let's say I have a carbon chain over here and I have a hydrogen on the left hand side. So this carbon needs three more bonds so let's draw three hydrogen atoms now uh, let's look at this uh, this uh, it, this molecule has this fun functional group so this is definitely an ester and I told you that uh, let me so I told you that on the left hand side you you can have a hydrogen as well so it can either be a carbon chain or it can be a or it can be a hydrogen atom as well but on the right side this must be a carbon chain so this is this is a carbon chain so this is also an example of an, of an ester there are many other ways of drawing this I can draw it the other way around as well let's say I do the opposite C double bond O and O and there's one carbon over here and one carbon on the left side and these are the three remaining hydrogens to complete the bonds and this carbon is also going to have three more hydrogen atoms so this here is an ester uh, I've just drawn it uh, uh, I just flipped the molecule so so you can uh, you can bring the serial one over down as well you can, there are other ways of drawing this as well you what you can do is you can you can make this serial one O uh, downwards and there would be an oxygen to the left but the but the arrangement must be the same. There should be a C double bond O, and that C should be connected to a single bond uh, with a single bond with another oxygen atom. So and there's uh, the carbon atoms on both sides. So this has three hydrogen atoms, whereas this has this will also have three hydrogen atoms. So this over here is also an ester because it has this particular functional group. 
although it's not it's not important that you uh, that you remember the uh, general formula for this compound because uh, for O levels it's slightly more advanced but uh, but I'll give you a general formula the general formula for this compound is CN H two N and then you have O2 so if you if you want to so this over here is the general formula so if you want to if you want to directly know how many atoms a particular molecule has so that you can uh, let's look at this uh, particular this has four carbon atoms so C would be 4 H would be 8 you can count the number of hydrogen atoms it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and there are two oxygens, one over here and one over here. So this general formula would uh, be applied to esters, but it's not very really important to know the general formula for an ester if you are doing O levels or IGCS. The next homologous series that you will study are called amines. Uh, again, for O levels, it's not very really important to know uh, a lot of things about amines because, uh, uh, but you just need to know the, what the structure of an amine would look like. So, so it has a functional group. Amines have a functional group. And the functional group for an amine is there would be a nitrogen atom which would be attached to hydrogen atoms. Uh, it's not necessarily there would be two hydrogen atoms. It depends. You need to count the uh, the total number of bonds and then figure out how many hydrogen atoms are attached with this nitrogen. But generally, there's a nitrogen atom. It's attached to hydrogen atoms, and there's a, there is a carbon chain which would which I would represent by R. There would be a carbon chain. There would be a carbon cha chain attached to that NH2 group. So this group is called the amine functional group. And uh, let's uh, do a few examples of uh, what this functional group would look like. Let's do an example that would make it more clear. So I have a carbon chain. This carbon is attached to three hydrogen atoms, and over here it's attached to a nitrogen and nitrogen makes uh, remember nitrogen makes uh, two bonds so if it's is sorry it makes three bonds so if it's making three bonds it's making two right now there would be a third bond with another hydrogen atom so this uh, particular group if this group is attached to a carbon chain then that molecule would be called an amine and uh, uh, the number of hydrogen atoms attached to n would vary it could be that you have a nitrogen and it's attached to two carbon chains it can attach it can since nitrogen can make three bonds so that wouldn't be a problem this nitrogen atom is attached to two carbon chains now if you count the total number of bonds there is one over here one over here and there would be it needs to make a third bond so there would be only one H attached to this nitrogen atom so so the number of hydrogens attached to this nitrogen atom can they can vary but this molecule is also uh, an amine so remember what an amine looks like uh, not a lot of detail would be asked about this uh, particular molecule but you should be familiar with the structure The next homologous series that we'll study are called amides and uh, this is also not very really important but you need to identify what amides are. So amides have this particular functional group in them. It's uh, the functional group. So the functional group in, in, in an amide is C double bond O which is attached to an N which is bonded to an H. So that's the functional group. And to the right and left side of this functional group, this N needs to make one more bond. So there's going to be, there's going to be a carbon chain, which I'll uh, represent by an R. So R represents uh, a carbon chain. It could be any form of carbon chain, or it could also be a hydrogen atom bonded over here. Similarly, on the left-hand side, attached to C double bond O, there could be an, there could be a carbon chain or there could be a hydrogen atom attached to it. So that's uh, what an amide would look like. So we can do a few examples. Uh, one example could be, let's say I have C double bond O 
and there's an in and each attached and uh, so this functional this functional group is called an amide and to the right there are two carbon atoms attached to it and if I complete the bonds this needs to make two more bonds so there are two hydrogens attached to it and there are three hydrogens attached to the other carbon atom so and I need to complete the bonds of this carbon atom as well it's making three bonds right now so let's say there's only one carbon at atom attached to this side so this needs to make three more bonds so there are three more bonds made with hydrogen so this particular functional group over here is basic is called an amide functional group so this is an example of an amide and i told you that uh, it's not necessary to have a carbon chain you can have hydrogen atoms attached uh, on the right and left side of this amide functional group so it's serial bond O NH and there could be a hydrogen atom attached over here and there could be a hydrogen attached to the left hand side. So this is also uh, an amide and there are many ways of drawing this amide functional group. You can draw uh, C double bond O could be draw drawn downwards and N and H could be drawn upwards. But this is still the same arrangement. It's the same exact arrangement. We can have we can have we can have it the other way around you draw in first which is attached to uh, H and then you draw C double bond or oh, this is also an amide it's just uh, drawn the other way around so this is an amide functional group you don't need to know the function uh, the, the general formula for this uh, but you need to identify what an amide would look like